songs and words. This is a story about love and how it can do a lot more damage than hate. She hadn't been holding out a great deal of hope that either couple was going to turn out to be Romeo and Juliet. It's the combination of, of songs and spoken word, and what it is, is it's a story, you know, and, and a lot of people who've seen the show have said to us afterwards, it's so long since anybody told me a story, since I sat down and got a story told to me, and that's what we're doing in the songs and in the narration, and uh, it's very reassuring for people. You know, there's some dark moments, but the story's ultimately uplifting, uh, and uh, yeah, people have really been connecting with it, which makes us very happy. You can't justify the truth is she knows that she got what she deserved. Um, people seem to have enjoyed themselves. We certainly enjoyed ourselves. And if you don't enjoy yourself on stage, there's no, no way the audience will. You've got to have a good time. And we're thoroughly enjoying doing this show. And I think, I think the audience um, doing had a great time. That's all we can hope for. Sorry. That's what you always say. You got nothing to be sorry for. It's my fault you're here. It's cars on the roadside. Hers by the door. So no one will know that we've been here before. No different from having music at a literary festival, and there's plenty of that these days. You know, literary festivals have music and comedy and all sorts of things. And um, uh, you know, to have a bit of crime fiction at a folk festival, to have country music at a folk festival, why not? Why not? The audience seemed to go for it. I've had a great time. Come and see. I'm very glad if you want to read the books, but come and see the show because this is something different, and I'm having a ball.